After you insert your parts and mate them in place, you inevitably want to visualize the assembly's motion. Let's take a look at the various ways we can do this in Onshape. Onshape provides visual indicators to determine which parts or subassemblies within an assembly have degrees of freedom or motion that remains unconstrained. If a component is free to move within any of its degrees of freedom, a try an icon is displayed to the right of it in the instance list. Hovering over this icon displays a message, has degrees of freedom. A subassembly in which the components are fully constrained at the subassembly level displays an icon to the left of the assembly in the instance list, indicating it as a rigid subassembly. If any part is mated to the assembly origin instead of fixed, this is also noted with an icon to the right of the top level assembly in the instances list. One method to determine assembly motion is to left click drag the part that you want to move. It moves in any direction allowed by the mates for that part. For example, the vice jaw is attached to the vice base with a slider mate. The slider mate allows for one linear degree of freedom, so when I left click and drag, you can see it's only free to move in that one direction. This mate also has a limit established, which means I can only drag it so far before it stops. Left clicked dragging a part is the simplest means to visualize assembly motion, but what if you want a little more control? You'll want to use the triad manipulator. To display the triad manipulator, simply left click the part that you want to move in the graphics. Drag the triad along an axis by left click dragging an arrow. Rotate the part around a default axis by left click dragging the end circle. Move the part within a plane by left clicking and dragging the square. One important tip to remember when using the triad manipulator is by default. The orientation of the triad manipulator may not be aligned with the direction that you are trying to drag or rotate. If you need to drag or rotate the part in a different direction than the default orientation, reposition the triad manipulator. To do this, simply left click and drag the center point of the triad. As you do this, the mate connector points appear that allow you to place the center of the triad on them. This makes it easy to attach the triad to something relevant to the motion and move the part accordingly. The last method to visualize assembly motion is using animate. Right click any mate with a degree of freedom, click the option to animate. The animate mate dialog appears where you can establish the animation's start and end value the number of steps to speed up or slow down the motion, and reciprocating, single, or loop playback. To view the animation, simply click play. And to stop the animation, click stop. It's important to point out if the mate you choose has more than one degree of freedom. A separate dialog appears allowing you to choose which degree of freedom to animate. If the mate has limits established, the start value and end values inherit those values in the animation dialog. To slow down the animation, increase the value in the steps option. And to speed it up, decrease the value. Single only shows the motion one time through from the start value to the end value, and then the animation stops. Reciprocate shows the motion from the start value to the end value, and then from the end value to the start value continuously until the animation is stopped. Loop shows the motion from the start value to the end value, and then jumping back to the start value to begin again until the animation is stopped. You may also reverse the playback with the reverse playback option. If you stop the animation, the current value is displayed in the dialog. As you can see, there are several different techniques to understand motion in on-shape assemblies.